All right. Running LEGO Racers on Steam Deck. First thing, of course, you need to go to desktop mode. All right, so the easiest way for me that I've found to get old Windows PC games on my Steam Deck is to install the game on my um, Windows computer first and then just copy over the install folder on a USB drive. So that's what I prefer doing, but it is possible to install directly off the disk, directly onto the Steam Deck, and I will show how to do that in a moment for those that would rather do it that way. But my method is USB drive, so it'll show up there, mount and open. Here's the folder, copy that. And then I like to copy it into this folder I keep on my desktop, old games. Just paste it there, let it finish. Boom, now we can eject that. And there you go, that's on there, but for those that would rather install directly onto the Steam Deck, you will need a um, USB DVD drive. Okay, so it usually takes a couple minutes to load up. It'll show up in here once it's done loading, but while we're waiting on that, you need an app in order to install games, install Windows games on here. Um, it is called Lutris. So if you go to the Discover um, app, this is it. I've already got it installed, so I'm just going to launch it. There it is. Okay. So then we can click Mount and Open. There we go. Alright, now it is accessible. Of course it opens up that, but we don't need access to the files that way. Uh, now on Lutris, you want to click the plus button, the add game button there, and then install the Windows game from executable. And then you can punch in um, the game name here. Lego Racers, leave all that at default. Install. Um, so yeah, it'll install under your Steam Deck folder, games, Lego Racers. Um, none of these matter because it's not actually going to install properly according to Lutris anyway and I'll show you that in a moment Hit continue and now we want to find the actual um, setup.exe which scroll down here Lego racers under removable disks and then you want setup yeah there it is setup.exe so you want to select that there and then hit install okay there we go Here's the installer. Click yes. Boom. Okay, 210 megabytes. Hopefully you have that much space. I don't know. It's a pretty big game. There we go. So it finished installing the game. But now these things pop up for some DirectX related stuff. Just Click yes to all of it. Uh, I don't know if it errors out or actually installs these, but better safe than sorry. And register doesn't matter, and finish. There we go. So then the installer closes, but then this screen just stays here. Um, it tries to run some kind of exit code, but it doesn't seem to do anything, so you have to click abort. But Lutris doesn't think it finished the installation, even though it did. So when you click abort, you want to make sure you uncheck this box. Otherwise, it will uninstall everything it just tried to uninstall. Tried everything it just installed. So uncheck that, and then cancel the installation. And I close Lutris because um, the game will now show up under here: Home Games Lego Racers. But it installs like a bunch of other stuff here kind of a kind of a Windows environment for the game to hide in but if you go to the regular install location drive C program files Lego media games there it is and boom uh, there you go you installed it directly onto here so whether you go to this folder or the copied folder you did over here doesn't matter now we can go on to the next step all right now we need another file off of this USB drive I have you need something uh, called a no-CD patch or a no-CD crack in order for the game to be able to run on your Steam Deck without without the CD 
plugged in all the time. I don't even think it works properly if you try and run it directly off the CD. Um, so we are going to go here. I have a folder here, no CDs, and then this is a zip folder with a, a patched EXE file, which allows the game to run without checking to see if the CD is plugged in. So you just copy this over to your main install folder and it'll replace the old EXE file old exe file you just click over right and boom you're good there and now you can go here in your install folder for leg racers right click on leg racers.exe and add to steam and then there's two more things we need to do before we can get it working correctly now we go to steam library and it should show up here Ligeracers.exe. So you want to go to properties and two things. Compatibility. We have to select the Proton version. Uh, for some reason, uh, Proton 9 didn't work for me, so I select Proton Experimental and that worked just fine. And then the other thing you have to do is go here to launch options and put a minus sign no, no video. Just like that. This will stop the game from attempting to run the intro videos at the, like when the game launches because they're broken on the Steam Deck and they will frequently cause the game to crash so you can't even run it anyway. So that will just prevent that. It'll just skip the videos straight to the main menu screen. And boom, you're done. So now you can hit play just for a quick test run in desktop mode and then we'll go to gaming mode. Yep, there it is. Boom. Beautiful. Alright, let's clear out. And now we can go back to gaming mode. There we go. And here we have LEGO Racers now. Um, so, if you want, you can... Go in here and name it correctly. Just like that. And if you have um, if you have a plugin on your Steam Deck called uh, Decky Loader, you can get an app uh, a plugin called Steam Grid DB, which allows you to easily change the artwork and stuff. So I like to do that. There we go, there's all the artwork. Now if we go back, boom, it shows up nice artwork here. And now we can hit play and it should run just fine. The default controls are um, A is accelerate, X is use power up, and then uh, right bumper is power slide. I I'm sure you can change that, but I just haven't bothered. But just to show you that straight out of the box, you it is fully playable with the Steam Deck controls. You don't have to configure anything to play, but I don't like the default controls. So if I was actually going to play this seriously, I would reconfigure that probably th through either Steam input or there is a way to configure controls in game, but I haven't tested that, so I don't know how well that works. Oh, I missed. Come on. Oh, man. I'm rusty. I haven't played this in so long. Nope. Uh...
Yeah, why not? Right about there. Ooh, not quite. There we go. Easy. And voila. That's all, folks. <laughs>